St. Peter's against Whanganui Collegiate. Welcome into our coverage here on Sky Sport. Great to be here for the CNI semi. Jeff McTainchin commentary. And a pleasure to have alongside me today former Scotland Bay of Plenty and Otago loose forward Hugh Blake. Hugh, can't wait for this one. You did right, Jeff. It's going to be a great game today. Semi finals footy can bring a lot of action, but you're certainly right about that cold, blustery wind that's coming in from the south. So it'll be a test to Sean O'Leary and Dawson Smith. Absolutely, a chilly one around here at uh, St. Peter's, that is for sure. And this is what it's all about the Rick T. Francis Memorial Shield in the CNI. And of course, the other semi final this weekend, St. Paul's against St. John's Hamilton. So plenty of quality rugby still to come here in this competition. As we said, a blustery day, so interesting to see how the kickers can handle that. 30 k's an hour and a high of 15. Thankfully, that rain that was around Awakato earlier this morning has passed. And uh, good conditions underfoot for some rugby. And this is the Wanganui lineup. Newland, Baird and McCarthy in the front row. Maya Kingi locked the scrum today. Profit, Namosema, Lua and Pease in the... Uh, Loose forwards, Crystal O'Leary, the captain in the number 10 jumper, Johnston Brunger in the midfield, and Evans, uh, Johnston and Sheriff out the back for Wanganui. Steve Simpson uh, is the coach for the visitors. Well, St. Peter's Cambridge have had an absolutely wonderful season. No question. Nine wins for the defending champions, Robertson. Damala and uh, Jakeman in the front row. Smith Boyle, look out for Smith today in the number four jersey, locking the scrum short. Tapara and Morlin in the loose. Farron and Smith, the captain. Vi Muir in the midfield today. And uh, Farmer, Cash Farmer leads the back three with Mitchell Nipia. Will Hillu is the coach of St. Peter's. Well, quite the season for St. Peter's Cambridge. And a warm round of applause here today for both of these schools. Well, last year, St. Peter's shared the title with St. Paul's. 36 points apiece on that occasion. I hope to go one better this year. Win it outright themselves. Have to get past the determined Whanganui Collegiate oh, this afternoon. And this is what it's all about, the tradition, the rivalry, the passion. First 15 rugby, and the matches, well, they don't get much bigger than knockout rugby this time of the season. They were beaten in round two, Whanganui by St. Peter's, but it counts for a little in a semi-final like this. And Logan Kingy to lead their hucker. Oh, yeah. 
Well, if it wasn't chilly here in Cambridge already, sure is now spine tingling challenges from both of these schools. And uh, St. Peter's ready to turn it on for their fans here. Wanganui, steely determination on their faces as well. And our referees this afternoon, our officials, Tim Baker, the man in charge, and he'll be assisted by David Balsam and Murray Hunt running the touch. And Hugh, that's what it's all about, those challenges. That's right, Jeff. These school rugby matches are fueled on on passion, and, and we just saw two great challenges just then. Uh, Dawson Smith, the captain of St. Peter's. And he lead his side today to the CNI final. We're about to find out here in Cambridge. And oh, good take as well there by Cody Veit for St. Peter's off the kickoff. And now a chance to really get some play going inside Wanganui's half here. Farron uh, into the back line. Coming out to make the tackle was Logan Kingy. Uh, they try and hold him up to affect the turnover, but there for Farron. And up in the line is Cash Farmer playing first receiver. The kick goes through. And uh, not a bad start, Hugh, for St. Peter's. I think we'll be seeing a lot of that today. There's a big win behind St. Peter's, so pumping the corners and getting some good territory will be what they're wanting. So Adam Beard, defensive line out already for Whanganui. And ball is messy. And, uh, well, they do have it back through Kingy. The man who led the hucker, and it's the ground for Crystal. Now try and set up uh, a ruck first to clear. And so he needs a bit more support there, there's Jack Crystal. And back in the pocket. And, oh, no, isolated here. He's trapped as O'Leary on his own goal line. And St. Peter's piling the pressure on. Under early pressure here, Honganui. Hello. The ground is Harvey Meyer. In fact, it's Beard. They go again. And they win a penalty. Tim Baker awards it just as well. I think Wanganui got out of a close one there. Just a bit of ill discipline from St. Peter's. We'll be looking to rein that in for the rest of the half. So a free exit out of, of uh, their 22 for Whanganui. But uh, got some real energy from St. Peter's. A beard goes in, and this one's tipped on the side of St. Peter's, but the bounce is kind for down the profit up towards halfway, Whanganui. And now a chance for them through Crystal. He plays it one off. And now they're inside St. Peter's half for the first time in the game. And the line speed good from St. Peter's, but breaking straight through. Joshua Brunger. Oh, good backfield defense there Hello. on the center. But this is more like it from the visitors. Now, Namosima Lua, now big number eight. Six foot four, man born in Suva. Now Crystal, the one off again. This time Harvey Meyer, the second year, year 12 student, picked up and taken forward by Pease. And Baker's got them for offside here. So William Johnston, the second 5'8, inside the 22. This is good continuity from Whanganui Collegiate now. Bronger, strong, the center, he's close, he scores! Joshua Bronger, well it was all St. Peter's early, and just like that, Wanganui score the first try. Joshua Bronger with two great individual instances there. Once they made that break, they compiled that pressure. St. Peter's gave away a penalty, but they capitalized on it and, and managed to get through for it. A try. 
there's the strength from the centre. Initially, it was a good backfield tackle that uh, stopped the man on his first play, but then that's the class of him. First year in the first 15, the year 12, 100 kgs too. And uh, that size, that speed, that close to the line, always going to be a tough man to stop. No, O'Leary is uh, away. Sean O'Leary. Had a good start, Hugh, for Wanganui after some early pressure. A great start. I think we'll see Wanganui try and keep the ball in hand slightly more than St. Peter's in this half, just playing into that big one. No, Smith again. And uh, oh, he's got that spot on, but uh, no, it's gone forward, in fact. Went the 10, but... The first kickoff couldn't quite reel that one in St. Peter's. And, uh, well, Hugh Blake is absolutely licking his lips because we've got the first scrum of the game. Hugh, this will be interesting. It will be often the first scrum. Two front rows testing it off against each other, pushing those boundaries, getting that weight on. Usually the first one's about finding your feet. It's a hard place to come and win St. Peter's here in Cambridge. And, uh, they'll do their confidence. The world of good, Ponganui. Experienced coach Steve Simpson, third season, previously at Francis Douglas in New Plymouth. He was with them for 10 years, Fung Dung. He won the CNI title in 2013. It's Steve Simpson. 14 All Blacks out of Whanganui. David Kirk, former All Black captain. And uh, just the lone All Black out of St. Peter's of Cambridge, Keith Lowen. Two proud schools. So we go again. Has been uh, Drizzly here in the Waikato this morning, so the foot challenging at set piece. And the weight coming on from St. Peter's. Tim Baker says we'll go again. Wanganui Collegiate there. Didn't look quite set. Got caught on the back foot. And that's going to cost you at scrum time. But be interesting to see whether we see Mossi Malua off the back of the scrum. We've seen during the season he's a big, powerful man. Let's see if we can get him one on one. Yes, the man at the back there, Yosefa Namosi Malua, 6'4. Strong ball carrier at the back for Wanganui. Just sizing up the space in behind. Crystal feeds again, a bit of weight coming, and it is with that man. But, uh, it's been lost forward. So, well, you called it, Hugh. They were going to go off the back through Josefa Namasimalua, but uh, knocked forward. He's going to have a hard day at the office picking up that ball if he's going backwards. The uh, type five need to do better than that. But now we turn to St. Peter's ball. Let's see if they can assert some, some dominance. Oh, waiting. Just inside Dawson Smith at first receiver is Sam Mitchell, the left winger. And it's there for Rui Farrant. And they go to Cody White. And now there's some space for St. Peter's. There with Nipia. Up inside the 22. Farron. Now they go to the tight head. Jackman. Seven metres out from the Wanganui line. They look for a response here through Andrew Smith. Oh, I just have to tidy up at ruck time, but they get a penalty. And Wanganui offside. We saw two great offloads in the tackle there. Cody Vai, the first one, 
moving the ball wide, making a great breach down the width. Might be a great day for flying a kite here in Cambridge, not so for a picnic lunch. Plenty of breeze around. And, uh, as we said, Sure to see it plenty. But St. Peter's in this first half. Rui Farron. They'll feed the scrum right in front of Wanganui's posts. They go away to the right. Farron, oh, I just can't quite take it. Caleb up it off the back. We just see a small knock on there. St. Peter's give away a good scoring opportunity. Midfield scrum, they had a 3-3 split. Could have gone either way. third last year, Ponganui in the CNI. Have to go the extra mile this season. It was disrupted last year with the lockdowns around the country. More heat coming here from St. Peter's and plenty of pressure too on Crystal. They go hunting for it, St. Peter's, but they've done well to well get some bodies there. Ponganui now through Conrad Newland. Now some players back, try and set up the exit. That Crystal goes to the man in the pocket, O'Leary. He's touched as well. It's a ball for Sam Mitchell. And now there's an opportunity. Cash Farmer got it. Be careful, the fullback dangerous on his feet. They try and blow through Wanganui. Here for Farron. He's got options both ways, but he goes to Smith. Oh, beautiful passing here. Cody Fight tries to free the arms. He does. Caleb top it up. Five metres out from the Wanganui line here. They go once more through Diesel. Jackman. Advantage here. Tim Baker awards it. Out Farmer in the line again. Harry Boyle carrying strongly. Away to the right from Farron. Now Robinson is close. The loose head, just a metre or so out. Gee, he's close to the line there. They just need to shift it, and they will score. There's the response from St. Peter's, and Maragaiti Nipia scores it. Another great try there, this time from St. Peter's. We see another breach through another lovely offload by Cody Vai. Then St. Peter's carried on, had great patient, patience. Managed to get through a few phases before getting wide and scoring the try. Great work there. Nipia in the corner. Marakaiti Nipia, year 11, first year in the uh, first 15 for St. Peter's. Goal kicking is going to be a challenge this afternoon with the win here around the Waikato. We've seen both teams be guilty of giving away penalties hard on defence. That'll be the word coming from the coaches. Keep your discipline, boys. Dawson Smith is away. So the try to Marakaiti Nipia goes unconverted. But St. Peter's back in it. And now it's five points apiece. 14 minutes gone in Cambridge. No, Larry. 
wins it high. It's close to that touch line, and ball is in touch. And, uh, a bit of a discussion here. Tim Baker will award the scrum to St. Peter's. Back at scrum time here. St. Peter's have asserted some dominance. Wanganui will be looking to show a bit more pressure and put something on. Watch all that. Watch all that. Sit. Watch all that. Clean enough. And up again on the line is Farmer. Ground by. Back it goes for Smith. And he hoofs it downfield. That's a lovely kick. Using the conditions perfectly. And Dawson Smith. A good territory gain. That's exactly right, Jeff. Dawson Smith will be looking at putting his team in the right areas of the field. Fords will then put the pressure on the set piece and try and give him some good front ball. So line out has been a bit wobbly so far for Whanganui. Again, though, they do get this all the top this time. I think the flag is up inside the 22. So a few issues here at set piece for Whanganui. It's obviously going to be a bit of a tough day for the hookers, but we need to be clinical. Take those throws. As we saw, Dawson Smith will be wanting to play those areas, board pack, put pressure on, and get the ball back in attacking periods. Oli Robertson to the front this time. There it is, Farron. And now carried forward by Boyle again. Oh, a little fumble at the base, but the referee says play on. So Jonty Short needs no second invitation. The blindside flanker. Farron put a pressure on the halfback. They'll have to get out of there. Yep, the referee's seen it. And. Uh, What's the penalty the way St. Peter's? That's another penalty given away on defence. St. Peter's will look to capitalise on that. They'll be looking at coming away with points every time they get into this 22. Robinson. Yeah, they've got it sorted, don't they, St. Peter's at line-out time. Now they set up the drive here. That's organised. Tidy work, St. Peter's. Oh, good pressure, driving them back, Wanganui. That's there for Farron. Go to the left, and this will be an easy stroll over. Cody Vai. A little shimmy, too, to celebrate, and just like that, the home side, St. Peter's Cambridge have their second. If you take it back to that mall, a wee little switch drive heading towards the line. They buttoned off just before it. I thought they were going to make it all the way. Here we have Cody Vai back on the blind side. Great try. He's had some good involvements already. Wanganui will be looking to shut him down. Little hip shimmy. Don't we like that? Well, that's reminiscent of Hugh Blake on a Friday night. That is the hip shimmy. And now Dawson Smith. The other angle this time. Fourth year in the first 15, Dawson Smith, Chiefs under 18. Man, he knows his way through a gap too, former New Zealand touch rep. He's got a breeze and a half to contend with here. Oh, Smith starts it right and uh, can't get any purchase to send it round. So try to Cody Vigo's unconverted. 
and it's St. Peter's Cambridge now who lead 10 points to 5. 19 gone in this first half. We saw O'Leary hang it up before. We'll see if he can do it again. He's done it again, hanging high. And uh, oh, who's got this? I think it's St. Peter's. In fact, they do. Callum Morland, the open side flanker. Oh, they went a penalty, though. Hanganui. And uh, that's an area you used to specialise in, Hugh. Yes, we saw some great work over the ball there from Wanganui. Now we're at the other end of the park. Both teams looking to play areas. Adam Beard sends it in. Now this time it does land for Dunna Profit, the blind side. Crystal thought about going up inside, does eventually, and Conrad Newland, the loose head prop, puts his head down. Now Crystal. Had some game going here inside St. Peter's 22. Left winger Jack Evans up in the line. Crystal again. Oh, no, this time the penalty. The way of St. Peter's, Hugh Blake. Yes, tit for tat at the breakdown, isn't it? We've had one either way. But looking like getting over the ball could be a great advantage. This one's not out, and it's well fielded at the end by James Johnston for Whanganui. And a great tackle around the bootlaces, Diesel Jakeman. And uh, it's there on the 10 metre line inside Whanganui territory. And Joshua Brunner, the centre. And this big number eight. They looked a bit high, Josefa Namosima Lua up towards halfway, Whanganui. Larry playing down the short side through Johnston. Close to the touchline here. So Crystal looks back open side. Starting to really punch onto this ball now in phase uh, Wanganui. And they've got another advantage. And Crystal again. Namasima Lua. Crystal. O'Leary flings it wide. And a cutout ball to one of our cameramen. So the referee will come back. It's playing the advantage. Offside there. That's just uh, constant pressure from Wanganui. Keeping the ball in hand for phases is going to cause St. Peter's to backtrack. And if you don't get onside, you'll find yourself down in that corner with O'Leary's big boot. Well, round two, it was a 28 points to 15. Lost to St. Peter's. And, uh, I know he played them. But, uh, look patient here. They look good. And now Beard sends it in. But again, line-out issues for Huang and Nui. They arrive in numbers, do. St. Peter's, Caleb Tapara tried to get over the ball. Still there for Whanganui and Crystal. Oh, big staunch defence at Peter's Cambridge. Driving the player back. Now Leary thought about stepping back on the inside. Now it's with Johnston. Oh, good take around the bootlaces from Josefa Namasimalua. That's pick number eight. Heading up towards the 10 metre line inside St. Peter's territory. Again, more good face, six of them for the visitors. The boys in white. Great continuity. Kwanganui just trying to find a crack in the scene through Joshua Brunger. He's looked good today. The 13, right in front of our commentary position here. But it's been turned over, and uh, St. Peter's through. Cash Farmer will have a chance to try and launch a counter-attack of their own. Back with Farmer again. Oh, such a beautiful little pass to Nepia. 
One of the try scorers for St. Peter's. And just like that, they've turned the tables. Heading up towards the 22. Farron. Smith. That's Tapara. Big man on his feet. Tried to offload. Smith again. He's got Farmer outside him. Eventually gets it off to Mitchell. 15 out here through Jaroslav Tamala. Now Farron, little snipe. But the ball is loose and uh, that's gone forward. Archieu after some pressure from Whanganui. St. Peter's showing what they can do on the counter. St. Peter's there, relentless on defence, forcing Whanganui backwards and backwards and backwards and then before you know it, turnover at the breakdown. And now St. Peter's have an attacking scrum 10 metres out. Sometimes in those situations, you have to take your losses and play some more territory. Pressure's been good for St. Peter's at uh, scrum time today. What does the referee say? He says, use it. So, Kamasima Lua, he tries to. Back in the traffic. Now it's there for the number eight once more. Crystal. Back, and the ball's been charged. O'Leary tried to clear. But great pressure from St. Peter's. When you're trying to kick, going backwards, you're always going to have people in your face looking at that charge down. Maybe Wanganui could look to just slow that ball down and get some better fences set. So it's there for Crystal. And again, content to try and play it off that goal line here. Wanganui through Conrad Newland. Playing with some real width, but deep inside their own territory. And Jack Evans does get to ground to recycle for Crystal. That's their blind side down the profit for year 13, third year. Newland again. Now trying to set up a clean exit, but more pressure coming once more. Sean O'Leary. They really need to sort this exit out. Wanganui, sure to be talked about at half time with Steve Simpson. But relentless breakdown pressure coming. And they're coming up fast too. St. Peter's. Now Baird. Now Crystal. Back in the pocket. O'Leary. And he does manage to get a kick away. But it's straight down the throat. Of this man, Cash Farmer. Don't want to give him too much room, the fullback. Because he's electric on his feet. Oh, get out of my way, says Caleb Dapara. And presents it for Farron. Oh, the referee lets it play on. That's yeah, brilliant work, too, by Thomas Pease. Ball away from Logan Kingy. Some good at the play by the Wanganui forwards here. A little overlap here, ball away to. And uh, trying to get over is Sam Mitchell, but still there for Whanganui and Jack Crystal. A little shift on O'Leary. And inside St. Peter's half again. Who wants it? Up for grabs. And Jack Crystal takes care of it. Now they go through profit. Again, the tackle made by Dapara. Now it's Newland, the loose head. Up towards the 10 metre mark, St. Peter's territory. And Mosima Lua. Getting some gain line. Crystal down on the left here through Johnston. Can't get around Jonty Short. And counter coming from Tapara. 
But it is there for Kingy, Logan Kingy. Ninth phase for Whanganui, brilliant stuff here. As they look for a try to try and level this game. Under 10 to go in this first half, O'Leary. Oh, good staunch defence, Callum Morland, the open side flanker with Harry Boyle. And, and what a penalty. And I'll take it quickly, excellent work from the open side. And Cody Veit says, get out of my way. Dawson Smith with it. He gets it back to Morlin. What a passage of play for the seven. Just near the 10 metre mark inside Wanganui's territory. Now Smith, there's some light rain starts to fall here in Cambridge. This the CNI semi-final. Crystal and O'Leary. Nice, some space in behind the St. Peter's defence. It's there for Farmer. He takes his time, sizes it up. And uh, Cash Farmer takes play up toward halfway. There'll be some tired body bodies out there after that one. Multiple phases for both teams. Tough to keep the breakdown in control when you get through that many phases. That one's starting to pick up now too as Beard throws and uh, well it is there for Crystal. Clean has come. Amosima Lua does manage to collect and take it to ground. Now Leary out into the midfield with an inside ball from Johnston. Back to the first 5 8. And making the tackle on him is Harry Boyle, right on halfway for Whanganui Crystal. Down to the right, oh, just hands letting down, down a profit there. And so it falls for St. Peter's, and he's got to get out of there, James Johnston. So Sam Mitchell will take it up, no advantage. You might have seen some of the Wanganui players with some hairdos this afternoon, shaved heads. That's in uh, memory of John Delman, the head of maths who passed away recently in the school holidays after a short battle against cancer. So raising awareness for brain cancer. Our thoughts with the family and friends of John Delman, head of maths. And uh, well, St. Peter's now look for another try here. Try and take a healthy lead into the break. Tamala, six out. The home side. Farron gets it away. And well, Caleb Tapara is close. And the try scored. And it is their number eight, Caleb Tapara for St. Peter's. Initially, Rui Farron spots a wee gap. Gets a little bit of go forward and then Tapara and over the line. We just see that compiling pressure from St. Peter's phase after phase. Coming away with some points. The other semi-final this afternoon was St. Paul's against St. John's Hamilton. Hugh, these sorts of games bring back memories for you. Of course, former Hamilton boys student, played in the Super 8. You won it once, didn't you? I think you'll find that'll be twice, Jeff. <laughs> Happy to be proven wrong, Hugh. But yes, I've had some good battles out here at St. Peter's too. Great standard of footy from a lot of Hamilton schools now. We'll see if O'Leary hangs this one up again. They'll look to get that position back. They've had two opportunities in a row and haven't capitalised off those kickoffs. So. so 
So 17-5 heading into the final minute. And uh, that is the strength of the breeze here in Cambridge. And assisting St. Peter's on that occasion. There'll be a scrum back at halfway. Well, St. Peter's look to run here into the final minute. Midfield attacking scrum. Looking at a 3-3 split again. Dawson Smith behind the scrum. Dictating which way they're going to go. Obviously need to win the set piece first. And it goes. Farron and off the back. Tapara. A little kick going through and behind. And uh, the bounce will go too far. Past Monty Sheriff. And not too far away from the halftime whistle now. Let's see what Wanganui decide to do here. Into a very strong wind. Will they look to have a crack? Or will that be it for the half? Crystal. Oh, pressure once again, St. Peter's. Namasimalua down the short side here through O'Leary. Ball loose and content to play with it through Logan Kingy. Right on halfway, Namasimalua gets the ball away to Jack Evans. Oh, he tries to get it back to Sean O'Leary, but it's gone forward. Now there's the endeavour. There's the willingness to play from Whanganui Collegiate. And there's the halftime whistle. And halftime here in the CNI semi final. It is St. Peter's Cambridge who lead Whanganui Collegiate 17 points to five. They're going to have to have a big defensive effort. So, a place. And the CNI final is on the line here. <laughs> Challenging conditions in Cambridge. Oh, what's happened there? Goodness. The ref's taken one there for free. And it's uh, with St. Peter's. Gee, you don't see that very often. Tim Baker. And uh, now St. Peter's will send a kick downfield. And, uh, and the pressure coming up on defence too, leading the charge there is Caleb Tapara. They will have a chance now through Crystal and Namo Simalua on oh, big heavy contact on the number eight. Yeah, had him beard the hooker up to halfway. Crystal awaited O'Leary. And he puts the kick down to that left wing and the fair catch taken by Dawson Smith. And he taps it and he opts for a bit of territory. Oh, what a hectic start to the second half, you. I don't think I've ever seen that before, Jeff. But O'Leary playing, playing the corners, looking at net gains. Territory is going to be big for him in this half. Here we have an attacking set piece. Are they going to bring Dawson in? Should I say, Brunger? That's taken there for the Louis by Harvey Mayer. Now Crystal wants it, and he sends it to O'Leary. He steps off his left foot, and he gets a pass off too. As uh, the first 5 8. And now Crystal will get the low numbers involved in the form of Conrad Newland. He looks open side but goes blind in the form of Downer Prophet, the blind side flanker. And putting some good pressure on at ruck time at St. Peter's, but fifth phase for Whanganui. Midway 22 and 10, and now Crystal O'Leary. Over to this talented centre, gets the ball off to Josh Brunger. 
Crystal, O'Leary, and Newland. Conrad Newland, hard man to bring down, but eventually Kayla Tapara does just that. Now, Maya. No, 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 no. There we go. Line, line, man. Yeah, that's it. Now, Crystal, short side play on here. Oh, slips the ball to Adam Beard, the hooker. He's up inside the 22. Eighth phase, so after that early mistake or error from the kickoff, Whanganui in a great position here to score the opening try of the second half. O'Leary going searching for it there. Caleb Tapara, Crystal goes one off to Logan Kingy. They drive strongly, good leg drive from the Whanganui lock forward, but a penalty the way of St. Peter's. After 10 phases, I think it's our number eight, Caleb Tapara, who gets it. Andrew Smith. Yes, a great turnover there from Andrew Smith. That's what we like to see at the breakdown. Unlucky for Kingy. He came from he came from deep, ran onto it. The ball not out, still in play. And therefore, Wanganui and Jack Evans. Now, uh, Crystal. Now, Namasema Lua. Good pressure again, but Wanganui stringing some phases together. And over the ball. And I think that is the number eight this time, Caleb Tapara. Now, Smith decides to run it. And down to the right wing here, and Marakaiti Nipia, the try scorer over the ball, Wanganui, it was Josh Brunger, and they've done well here. Hey, what a game the centre's having, but it's a bit of a bar of soap at the moment. Yeah, we see a great turn over there, a, gra a game from Brunger, but we just need to slow that down. Keep position, keep building that pressure. St. Peter's with an attacking scrum. The wind has really picked up heading into it. Will they look to play territory or will they keep it in hand? So Farron. Oh, ball loose. Reset scrum. So tough conditions for set piece, but that is the tapara, and they do go little double round move. Smith gets it, trying to count it, but there for Rui Farrant and ball loose once more, tidying up his fight. Going to try and keep him on his feet here and affect the turnover. Good leg drive though from the year 12 Cody Vite. Uh, head down straight up the middle to halfway St. Peter's. Ball along the ground, but Andrew Smith takes it. And now there's some space down the right here for their centre, George Muir. Ball away too to Nipia. Up towards, heading towards the 22. Now Smith, pass to Boyle. They'll try and hold him up, Harry Boyle, but to ground he goes. And now Farrant, Smith, Cash Farmer. Gets the ball away beautifully. Caleb Tapara. Six metres out here. Excellent work. St. Peter's as they wait through Smith. Now Jackman. Just building nicely. Seven phases. Smith thought about the pass. And he took on the defence instead. Four out now. 
Yeah. How big would a score be here for St. Peter's? Oh, head high and uh, I think it's a head high there. They've got an advantage, and I don't think it'll come out. And it won't. St. Peter's there, not afraid to throw it around in the wet. Opportunity out wide a couple of times. But here they have an attacking scrum. Let's see what they can do. Chiefs off this, boys. Chiefs here. Oh, some big defence needed here from Whanganui. Crouch. This man on. Yeah, some good pressure already today at scrum time for St. Peters. Oh, here. Dominant position on the field. Dumpera. They go Vai again. They try and hold him up. Done well here. Josh Brunger in there, the centre. But ball to ground. In fact, it's been turned over. Excellent work. On defence from Honganui and now Conrad Newland. Well, they defuse one there, Whanganui Collegiate, that's for sure. O'Leary will find a touch, but how's that for resilient defence, Hugh Blake? Very resilient. Looking to hold him up. Eventually creating that turnover. O'Leary would have looked to get a wee bit more distance out of that kick, but ball loose off the line out St. Peter's but it is there and Andrew Smith on the deck now they go through Diesel Jackman Farron to Smith cut out ball Vai and now Farmer oh he's looked lovely on his feet today catch Farmer from fullback now Callum Maul on the open side tries to place back player in the road does the ref say no he says penalty He's been called for in the side there, but we did see a little cheeky hand too. Wanganui just need to be careful of their discipline, especially around this area of the field. Well, Hugh, obviously you finished up playing with Bay of Plenty, had a few injury worries yourself, but pretty satisfying career. Time with Scotland, Test Rugby, Sevens Rugby for Scotland, and a bit of time at MPC level with Bay of Plenty and Otago. Yeah, managed to get over to Scotland and, and play a bit of footy. Had an awesome time over there. Actually, the coach of St. Peter's, Will Hill, he was over there recent times. Sevens was also good fun. Obviously not in weather like this, but. <laughs> so I've got some subs coming in here for St. Peter's. Jack Scrag and the 17 jumper. And Dawson Smith. Let's take some ownership here. Let's go to work. Sends it inside the 22. You heard their Don't voice rip. saying, let's get some ownership here. Robinson. Down the back and uh, good take it in. Bobbles out though and number Simalua plays some danger footy inside the 22 with the offload, but it is there for Will Johnston. Back it goes. O'Leary. Oh, ball charged again. So we've had a couple of charge downs today. We've had a referee in the road. But uh, he's called it lost forward by uh, St. Peter's. Great technique there in the charge down. O'Leary's been under pressure all day. St. Peter's will not wanting, will be not wanting to let them get out of this 
area of the field lightly. Hey, Crystal feeds it and steady enough for Whanganui the defensive scrum inside the 22 and O'Leary puts a lovely right boot to it and it's worked out well Farmer can't hold on to it and he has a bit of time to decide what he wants to do and he decides to run does catch Farmer ball away to Sam Mitchell the left wing now Dawson Smith now you don't want to run into Josh Brunger the centre for Whanganui he's been great defensively today in that area of the game and they try and get over the ball now there for Farron. And all player flying up. Newland to make the tackle, but still alive through Callum Morland for St. Peter's. Up towards the 10. And a good game so far, the open side flanker. And what does the referee say here? Not releasing, so a penalty the way of Whanganui. It's a long way for Harvey Mayer to get down there and enforce that turnover. So great work. Look at the payoff now. Attacking set piece inside that 22. Will they look to bring Brunger in? Charging at the line. Or will they keep it tight in the forwards? So Beard. Oh, and it goes and untidy that time Ponganui, but free will give them a scrum so they get away with one. Very tough conditions here at line out time. Ponganui get away with one. Scrum time have been under pressure a bit. Let's see if they can. Have a solid set piece and give the backs a good platform to set off. There it goes. Is this the chance for Jack Crystal and Whanganui O'Leary? The player coming up to the line there is Johnston off of his wing. Look at a strike back here in the CNI semi final. Whanganui Collegiate, six metres out. Newland, Conrad Newland to pick. He's got peas with him. Now it's Beard. Searching for a try that would really bring them right back into the contest here. Wanganui, five out at the feet of Logan Kingy. And defence. St. Peter's trying to push them back. Crystal. Hey, look. Little snipe. And the halfback has his hands on it once more. He spins it wide this time. Is this the chance for Wanganui? It will be. Monty Sheriff. Yeah, baby. Well, at one end of the park, it looked like St. Peter's were going to put possibly a nail in the CNI semi final coffin. But Monty Sheriff brings them back into it. As you said, Jeff, great try there for Monty Sheriff. That'd be a coach pleaser. Midfield set. Boards working hard. Picking and going up the centre of the field. Pulling the St. Peter's defence in and then heading wide for a try in the corner for Monty. Great work. They took a knock for his troubles too. Did Monty Sheriff coming in there, flying in there was George Muir. But uh, it looks like he's okay now, Monty Sheriff. The year 11 student for Whanganui, and it is a seven point ball game. And Sean O'Leary get a couple more. Great kick, great kick, Sean O'Leary. And all of a sudden, 
the CNI semi-final has well and truly come to life. St. Peter's now with a five-point lead, 17-12. Tay Smith, that goes long, and it's there for Masimo Lua. He's carried well today, the big number eight presents for Crystal. Thought about going blindside, now he goes himself, but he runs straight into Jiroslav Tamala, the hooker. And now it's Pease. Some of their phases look excellent today, Whanganui, and they've held on to the ball. Really built some pressure. Again, it's presented for Crystal. And uh, Larry, the inside pass. A big staunch defence. That time done a profit. Statement tackle from the six. Mamo Simalua again, another touch. And ball is loose though. So Andrew Smith cleans up. And now Kaidi Vai. have done well to get to ground today keeping that body position low in the carry St Peters no Farron short side Farmer delays the ball again gets the pass off by he runs into Johnston there's the tackle so therefore Rui Farron once more Farmer first receiver and he's been used well Today in the play has Farmer, but the ball's been turned over. And Namosima Lua lays it back. And oh, ball is loose. But uh, another turnover. And Wanganui, well, another one, the way of St. Peter's. So it's been back and forth. It continues. Smith, out of Farmer. In fact, Vait. They're up to task in defence at the moment, Wanganui. Referee having a close look. And it's there for the pick for St. Peter's. And Farron, way to Tamala. Strong, knocks the player backwards. Straight back goes Harvey Meyer. And there's a penalty as well. Not rolling. And uh, that one going against Will Johnston. Thomas Pease over the ball there. Great turnover from him, just unlucky his own player hasn't rolled away. A bit of concern here for Harry Boyle, the year 13, third year in the first 15, born in Wellington. But uh, some of Wanganui's play has been pretty encouraging, Hugh. And uh, I don't know if they can get up toward that 22 of St. Peter's to try and take control of the game. We are seeing them hold the ball for long periods, especially between those 22s. I thought maybe O'Leary would look to kick a wee bit more, but obviously not the game plan. Now Wanganui, 58% possession to them, and uh, you look at... Rucks and Walls, 87 plays 46 in favour of the visitors. And uh, seven plus phases, they've got eight to St. Peter's three. But it is the host here through Dawson Smith, who sends them inside the 22. Sixteen to go in the CNI. Semi-final is Andrew Smith takes it. Hold him up, hold him up, hold him up. Defense, boys, get over there. Henry Strang on the park in the 18 jersey for Whanganui, but Vai tries to get the ball away to Muir. His midfield partner, but ball is hacked through. And the chase is on from Josefa Namosimolua. Good pace by the eight. And they arrive in numbers, Whanganui, but... It is there for St. Peter's. And Farron will happily set one off, but that's a lovely pass short. And this will be excellent from St. Peter's. And Space Fry, he might go all the way. Oh, has he made it? Cody Vai. Oh, 
dear, the flag up. But how about that play from St. Peter's? Out of nothing. Cody Vite. Ollie Robinson back there. Two on one. Those are what you train for. Every every training as a warm-up. Passing drills, passing drills. We see it there. Draw and pass from the prop. Perfect execution. Well, he was so close. Just half a metre for Cody Vite. And a big take at line-out time for Logan Kingy. They're trying to drive them back though here. St. Peter's getting organised now. And pleading with the referee, Whanganui. Says that's once and they need to get it out of there. They won't. So Cody Vai just a moment ago, just short, but now they'll have another set piece here, Hugh. Lay on the pressure. Andrew Smith managed to sneak around the side there, I think. But got away with it. St. Peter's now with the attacking scrum. They've been solid at scrum time. Let's see if they can put that ball on a platform for Caleb Tapara and see what he can do. Well, perhaps they'll bring the wing around on the crash ball. Maybe. Maybe that'll happen. Wait and see. Sam Mitchell set here at first receiver. Sam. You could be right, Jeff. Oh, pressure coming this time. I don't know it. And uh, they win. Turnover position. St. Peter's taking the foot off there a bit. They won't be happy about that. They'll be looking to get one back. A bit of pressure coming from St. Peter's, but the penalty. You see there, tight head, boring and maybe a little bit too eager to work that one back. So it could be anyone's game here, really. The uh, defending CNI champions, St. Peter's, last year, heck of a final 36 points all against St. Paul's. It was shared. That one hasn't found touch from O'Leary. Now it has. Heck of a kick. Bounce of the ball and. Uh, well, perhaps not far enough back there as they get some great territory, Whanganui. And with just 11 and a half minutes to go in this game, how crucial, Hugh Blake, this period of play. O'Leary has put them right, right where they want to be here. Another attacking set piece. Let's see if we can shore up this line out. St. Peter's will be looking to challenge. So a bit of attention for Logan Kingy. He's looked good today, just favouring that right arm there. I hope it's not too serious. Are they locked forward? And a bad throws in, can't take it. Namo Simolua, but uh, Sean O'Leary's there to clean up. Just outside St. Peter's 22, waiting is uh, straight. 
spot the clean white jersey, the replacements, and they pick up and go through Pease. 15 metres out from the line here. Now the referee, see the applause, it's St Peter's ball. Wanganui will be disappointed with that, but scrum time now, St Peter's ball. I'm sure they won't be letting that tight head happen again. Let's look at the solid set piece. They'll be looking for a good exit. St. Peter's trying to work it out through Vite. There for Farrick. Runners waiting one off. Desperately searching for some sort of a turnover here at Wanganui. A kick force for Dawson Smith. And oh, that's difficult to take. Lost forward. Well, it was always in front of him. Monty Sheriff. And a great finish not too long ago with the try, but that one eluding him there, and uh, it'll be possession, St. Peter's. St. Peter's rewarded from a good set piece there. Tough catch and a swirling win. St. Peter's now with the attacking scrum. Wanganui have been applying a lot of pressure at scrum time in the last couple. Let's see if they can do it again. A stable from St. Peter's and now Levi. Tried to pop the pass to no one. The kick through. Josh Brunner chasing hard. And scoring! Absolutely brilliant vision from Josh Brunner. And now Wanganui have squared this one up. Absolutely great try there, Jeff. The kick through, capitalised on St. Peter's mistake, showed the wheels in the chase. Great try, slams it over the line. As we see it here again, look at the determination on his face. Try time. Two tries for Josh Brunger. And what a game to score the brace, the CNI semi final here at St. Peter's, Cambridge. And now Sean O'Leary. A handy position to give Wanganui the lead. He's done it! Sean O'Leary converts the try to Josh Brunger. And all of a sudden, it's Wanganui who leads St. Peter's 19 points to 17. Right, clean tape for Wanganui. And now there'll be plenty of confidence. That tail's up. They lead. St. Peter's Cambridge on their home turf. What will the mentality be here? Try and keep it tight or keep playing rugby. And straight through, slicing through the gap. Oh, big tackle. Massive tackle. Dump it up on William Johnston, but the ball is still there. And now Henry Strang, they try and hold him up. St. Peter's, what a hit. Now Crystal, you know you're playing semi-final rugby when you see defense like that. Again, another carry for Henry Strang, the year 13. Crystal, oh, one off again, staunch defense on Jack McCarthy. 
waiting is Newland. Conrad Newland. They're trying to counter the ruck, St. Peter's, but there for Crystal. Again, body position good. They get it down and it will go to Honganui. Uh, you just sense you, Blake, heading towards the final whistle in this game. The energy levels on both sides starting to go through the roof. That's right, Jess. Semi final footy into the last 10 minutes. St. Peter's will be looking to make amends within this scrum. Wanganui will be looking to have a solid set piece. Wanganui with some fresh legs in the second row. And it goes Crystal. Stable enough. Namo Simalua and good take there O'Leary. Inside ball for his second 5'8", Johnston. Right on halfway for Crystal. Uh, it's been organised, hasn't it? Lift go. A replacement lock forward on the park in the 19 jersey. Masimalua, little left-hand fan, pushes the player to ground and he goes to ground. But they win a penalty. Big work at the breakdown. And the Pats go into their open side. Uh, under 18, Wakato player Callum Morland. St. Peter's loose trio have been pressurising the breakdown all day. Some great reward. Well, these are the moments that they save it in schoolboy rugby. A free kick to St. Peter's, and they welcome that, and off they go through Dawson Smith. Now Farron, way to Smith. Staunch defence, O'Leary coming in. Is there something on here for St. Peter's? Defence good at the moment. Whanganui, now short. Johnny Short, trying to break through. Ball spills backwards, and now Smith off to Andrew Smith. Taking him around the bootlace is Conrad Newland, the loose head. Five phases, St. Peter's, as they search for a try that could possibly win them the game. Farmer puts it through too far. Too far. And now into that stage of the game where accuracy Hugh, has to be so clinical, especially in these conditions. It does Wanganui there. Onside, every breakdown, keeping their discipline, not giving away any silly penalties. Resulting in a turnover. Big line out for Beard. And they can't win it. Oh, in fact. As the referee say here, ball lost forward, St. Peter's. Ball lost forward from St. Peter's, Cambridge. So, again, it hasn't been their best area of set piece this afternoon. The line-out for Whanganui. But again, they've got away with another one, Hugh Blake. They had. Third time that's happened. Both scrums now seem to be finding their feet. Wanganui would be looking to get this out of that red zone. Big pressure, St. Peter's. Oh, done well, Amasimalua in wet conditions. The big man off the back. Yeah, this is what you're trained for. These moments in your own 22. O'Leary's had plenty of pressure today on his kick. And he does scramble it into touch, but with four minutes and a bit to go, a great position for 
St. Peter's. And it goes, Robinson. Ball loose, and it's worked out for Wanganui again. Henry Strang places back for Crystal. Uh, Leary, a low flat kick down the field. This has worked out absolutely beautifully. Oh, sensational from O'Leary. And that's the game. The referee blows the final whistle. Wanganui Collegiate into the final. Final score there, 19-17 to Wanganui Collegiate. Semi-final footy, Jeff, anything can happen. The season starts again at that kickoff. And as we see here, Wanganui have taken the win. One better than last year. Let's see if they can go two. Oh, you see Josh Brunger there in the 13 jumper. He scored a crucial try. That's what it means to both of these teams. But it's St. Peter's Cambridge here. It's the visitors who have come to town and they will play in the final of the Central North Island competition. They've beaten St. Peter's 19 points to 17.